say yay. 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 Kelly Pie Acevedo plays with her 11-month-old daughter, Sienna. She cherishes seeing Sienna smile and spend time with her two brothers because of what doctors told her when Sienna was born. They told me that she was without oxygen for about 13 minutes and that there was kind of no help for her. A priest was called to prepare Kelly Pie for the worst. I thought I lost her. I thought I wasn't going to be able to see her, see her face, see her smile, see her cry. But as a last effort to save Sienna's life, she was transferred to the University of Florida, where UF physicians have a cooling blanket that lowers a baby's core temperature and potentially prevents more brain damage. What the cooling blanket does is it decreases the core temperature by three degrees. So the cells in the brain after they're injured can either live or die. They're sitting on the fence after injury. And what the cooling does is it pushes them towards living rather than dying. The cooling therapy is used on babies that are less than six hours old and continues for 72 hours. Studies have shown the therapy can reduce the disability and death rates in babies born with brain damage. This technology has really given us something to offer hope to parents. In the past, with our therapies, we really didn't have anything that was specifically to help the brain get better. So really, this therapy has given hope for a patient population that was really hopeless in the past. Doctors say Sienna is now developing normally and shows no signs of brain damage. I wouldn't be able to experience the stuff that I've experienced with her if it was not for this technology. So I'm just, I'm so thankful. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Billowich.